you know, yesterday I talked about a celebrity, but today it's going to be Kanye West. I mean, this is on a whole other level. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, listen, you can't imagine what a difference it makes if you would subscribe. And if you're watching, please just subscribe. It doesn't hurt and it helps. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. For me, there's no doubt that this man is a genius but it doesn't mean that he's not flawed. And sometimes the flaws maybe are what make us have the ability to be a genius perhaps. But um, I've got a few questions. I've got uh, three questions that I so, want to ask. Number one, um, is Kanye actually an addict? Is he an addict? Number two, does Kanye love Kim Kardashian as you know the true love of his life. I think a lot of us have that. We have someone who's so very special to us that they are the one that is the love of our life. And I wonder if that's who Kim Kardashian is for Kanye. And then number three is a Celtic cross. And um, will Kanye be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are? And uh, will he admit it to the public ever? Will he be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are? If it's not addiction, if it's whatever it is, can he overcome it? And will he admit it to the public ever? Kanye. So 1977, Kanye Omari West was born on June 8th. He's a Gemini born in Atlanta and raised in middle class uh, Chicago. His dad was a Black Panther and a first black photojournalist and a Christian counselor. In 1980, his parents divorced and uh, when uh, when he, his parents divorced when he was three and his mother, Dr. Donda C. West, uh, moved to Chicago as an English professor and then she was chair of uh, of the uh, Chicago State University English Department and later retired to be his manager. Um, in 1982, Kanye had talent uh, for the arts early and he wrote poetry at age five. His mom noted a passion for drawing and music in the third grade. In 1984, he started rapping and musical compositions in the seventh grade, uh, selling to other artists. And in 1987, at age 10, they moved to Nanjing, China, where she taught, his mom taught, at a university as a Fulbright scholar. And then Kanye was the only foreigner in the class, she says, settling in and picking up the language, but now had forgotten most of it. Uh, in 1990, at age 13, he wrote a rap called Green Eggs and Ham, you know, the title of the Dr. Seuss book. And uh, his mom paid for recording studio time, which ended up being a little basement with a microphone hanging from the ceiling on a wire clothes hanger. His early career was creating beats for local artists with a style of speeding up soul vocal samples. And in 1992, he was a producer, oh, I'm sorry, in 1992, he and a producer who taught him how to sample and program beats as a mentor, they got close, and Kanye got his first equipment at age 15. In 1996, at age 19, his first official production credit uh, came from tracks for a Chicago rapper. And then in 97, after high school, he got a scholarship Man, that was before he was finished high school. After high school, he got a scholarship to Chicago's American Academy of Art and took painting classes. He transferred to Chicago State University to study English, but the schedule interfered with music, and at 20, he dropped out, uh, displeasing his professor mom. She was a professor at that university. She later said it was drummed into her that college was the ticket, but some careers don't require college, and him making an album called College Dropout was about having the guts to embrace who you are and not follow society's path. In the 2000s, he produced four artists, and he wanted a solo rapper career. He got a break at uh, Rockefeller, at the Rockefeller label. Wow, that's an interesting name, Rockefeller label. And then in 2002, West Breakthrough uh, came when he was driving home from a California rec recording studio. Uh, he fell asleep at the wheel, and it caused a head-on crash, uh, leaving him with a shattered jaw, uh, and it was wired shut in reconstructive surgery. This inspired him, and uh, two weeks after being in the hospital with his jaw still wired shut, he recorded a studio song, Through the Wire, uh, was the name of it, which he said was his medicine, and working on it distracted from the pain, and uh, he also became engaged to Alexis Pfeiffer. Now, in 2004, his uh, studio uh, album, 
was a critical and commercial success, and he founded the record label Good Music. In 2005, NBC broadcast a concert for Hurricane Relief with West, who deviated from the script, uh, saying George Bush doesn't care about black people, and President Bush called it one of the most disgusting moments of his presidency. In 2007, Kanye's mom died of complication from cosmetic surgery, and that jarred his life. He ended his engagement uh, with uh, Alexis, and in 2005, uh, 2007, 2008, he explored orchestral arrangements with synthesizers and auto tune. And then 2005 and 2015, Time Magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Uh, 2009, Kanye's biggest controversy was at the MTV uh, Video Music Awards. He crashed the stage, grabbed the mic from Taylor Swift while she was accepting an award, and uh, said that Beyonce's video was one of the best videos of all time. Uh, they canceled him from the rest of the show, and Billboard named him that year also top male artist. Now, 2010 and 13, he drew inspiration from maximalism and minimalism with his fifth and sixth albums. This is all according to Wiki. Kanye's outspoken views and life gets media coverage as a source of controversy for his social media. And his uh, comments on music, fashion, U.S. politics, race, and slavery are polarizing. Uh, his Christian faith, mental health, and marriage to... Kim uh, Kardashian are polarizing also. In fashion, he collaborates with Nike, Louis Vuitton, The Gap, APC, and Adidas on clothing and footwear. And then 2010 to 2012, he took a break from music for fashion, but holed up in Hawaii, in Hawaii for months, writing and recording an album uh, with favorite producers and artists, keeping engineers working 24 hours a day and hardly sleeping himself. In uh, 2013, Kanye and Kim announced their first child, North, is her name, and engagement. And then in 2014, West and Kardashian married privately in Italy with artists and celebrities in attendance. In 2015, Kanye proclaimed himself the greatest living rock star on the planet, he says. And then in 2016, Kanye started the St. Pablo tour supporting the life of Pablo. And uh, he postponed several dates after a Paris robbery of Kim's effects and jewelry. Um, then, after a week of no-shows, uh, curtailed concerts, and rants about politics, he canceled the tour. He had 21 dates left. Um, he was admitted for psychiatric observation and hospitalized over Thanksgiving for psychosis from sleep deprivation and dehydration. Uh, he took an 11-month break from Twitter and the public, and in 2018, Kanye announced that he would write a book of philosophy called Break the Simulation and share it in real time on Twitter and posted content similar to life coaching. He also said he would change his name to Yi, his stage name. And in 2020, he launched a failed independent pres presidential run advocating a, consist a consistent life ethic. Uh, he's one of the world's best-selling Grammy-winning artists from all of that. And in 2021, Kanye West began work on an album and a divorce from Kim Kardashian. Um, he's, um, he'll be 45 in 2022, and Forbes estimates his net worth at $1.8 billion. Jungian Tarot uh, by Robert Wang. And so, very interesting uh, set of cards. So, the box. I always like to start with that. It's a nice, sturdy box. It's like a box that maybe perfume would come in. It's kind of that quality. And um, it's got an interesting story about these. Uh, Robert Wang developed the Jungian Terra as a visual gateway into the complexities of Jungian psychology uh, to aid in the process of active imagination uh, proposed by Carl Jung in the 22 major arcana uh, represent Jungian archetypes of the collective unconscious. So it's interesting. So these, um, Carl Jung actually developed these cards for use in psychoanalysis. Uh, the, the, so everything about them is very, very thoughtful. Um, the uh, booklet is good. It talks a little bit here, and I'll just tell you quickly. Um, the Jungian tarot, tarot is a set of arch, uh, archetypical uh, images carefully uh, designed for use in a process which Carl Jung, one of the founders of the psychoanalytic uh, movement, called active imagination. It's hoped that the readers will find in these pictures a comfortable visual introduction to the principle of Jungian psychology and that they will be encouraged to seriously consider Dr. Jung's brilliant summation of the Western uh, uh, mystery tradition and his translation of, of its ideas into modern psychological terms. And what's interesting here is that the last part of this said, 
uh, I like this. It says, in this regard, it should be understood that most current accepted systems of value assignment for, for regular tarot cards were arbitrarily developed by 19th century occult groups. I take, uh, I don't know about ar arbitrarily developed, but by 19th century occult groups, by contrast, the attributions to the Jungian tarot have been painstakingly researched in an effort to clearly relate tarot interpretation to the more ancient and traditional study of astrology and of the uh, Hermetic Kabbalah. So, I like it. And then the interpretations in, in here are very good, and they're in keeping with the typical uh, Rider weight uh, interpretations, so you can fall back on that. The cards are a really good uh, stock of cards, and they're, uh, it, they have an interesting back. It's a, uh, they feature a lot of the cards on the back here. Um, they fit into your hands really well, uh, and uh, they work really well. So the one thing, I won't say that they're completely... Like you, they're, they're, they're completely um, easy to interpret. Just because the uh, pr uh, val <laughs> the page, the knight, the king, and the queen are not clear to uh, interpret. Um, just because it's not clear that the queen is a queen and the king is a king, and the page. This is a page, for instance. So you might think, oh well, that's a queen, but no, it's not. So you have to figure that part of them out. And there's a couple other cards that are a little less um, intuitive to uh, figure out, but it's interesting to use these cards. And I use them when I've got a particularly um, psychological subject that I want to delve into. So I don't use them awfully that much, really. And I should, uh, because they work very well. It's surprising the interpretations you get out of these. So lots of thought was gone into Carl Jung's design of these cards. Uh, lots of thought was gone into Robert Wang uh, putting them into a tarot set. And uh, so here we go. They're, they're well worth uh, the uh, time and money, especially if you understand your uh, uh, Rider weight system of tarot. Okay, but you know, first, we're going to have a moment of meditation. These cards can be a little cryptic, and I've just got by my side my st uh, cheat sheet that I can use if I can't figure out the divination right away. So Kanye West, there'll be three questions. Two of them will be three card pulls, and then the third question will be a full Celtic cross that will have two parts to it. So Kanye, 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 Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West. The first question, is he actually an addict? Is Kanye an addict? And I'm talking about drugs. And not necessarily illegal drugs. He could be getting drugs legally from his physicians and supplementing that with illegal drugs. But is Kanye actually an addict? Three cards. One, two, three. Is Kanye actually truly an addict. First card is going to be, okay, what is this? I'm not sure. I think this is Secrets Being Revealed. I'm going to get the instruction booklet out here so that I can be sure that I'm telling you the right thing. I think this is the Moon card and Secrets Being Revealed. So let's take a look here. Sorry to do this to you. Oh, these are the Lovers. The Lovers. Interesting. So the Lovers is the major arcana and this is telling finding companionships finding partnerships interesting the next card then is going to be this um temperance and it, it's a this is an alchemist almost oh this is very interesting okay and then the uh, last card for this draw is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine of swords which is being in battle Okay, so the lovers. So people, okay, you're finding a, a partnership with involving an alchemy. And it's, um, with this nine of uh, swords, is just a nightmares. Nightmares. I think he was addicted. It may not have been majorly illegal. Interesting. And I'm starting to get a tickle in my throat, but I'm going to power through this. The next question is, does Kanye love Kim Kardashian as the love of his life? Does Kanye love Kim Kardashian as the love of his life? Three cards. One, two, three. 
two, and three. Does Kanye look Kim Kardashian as the love of his life? First card, what the heck are you? So the Ace of Pentacles. And so the Ace of Pentacles is a great big offer of value. So he holds her in very high esteem, okay? The challenge to that is this Queen of Cups. Okay, so Cups are emotion, and the Queen is very high up there in emotions. And then the uh, final card for that would be this uh, Magician. Ah, this is very interesting. So, uh, does he consider her the love of his life? He ha holds her in very high esteem with this great big ace of value. She is the Queen of Cups, so I would say she is the Queen of his emotions. And um, this magician is who he thinks he is in uh, being able to manage uh, all of this. So I would say that, yeah, he can holds her in very high emotional esteem, and he thinks he can uh, make this be good somehow eventually. Very interesting. The next question is the full Celtic cross, and will Kanye be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are, and then will he admit it to the public? Will Kanye be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are? Will Kanye be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will Kanye be able to overcome his demons, whatever they are? Signifier card is, okay, so the High Priestess um, is all-knowing. Uh, she holds the uh, Book of Knowledge, and um, she can overcome anything. The challenge to that, then, is the Lovers. The High Priestess challenged by the Lovers. So, yeah, okay. So, uh, having all the power available to you that's necessary is challenged by your love of something. The base of this reading, with this Queen of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. So, the base of all this, I think, is a very strong uh, sense of this uh, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law in his mind. Uh, the past of this is this uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Is this 9 of uh, Wands. And the 9 of Wands is feeling very embattled and that certainly has been what his uh, life has been the sky of this then with this queen of pentacles is uh the value a uh, very high uh, value okay and the question is will he be able to overcome his demons whatever they are and then the likely outcome wow being death so i think that he will he's got uh what it takes his love of himself really is what is the challenge to this this his his queenly equivalent to the truth, justice, rules, and law. He's not kingly in charge of it, but he's very much in charge of it. And then with this nine of wands being so embattled uh, with whatever his demons are, um, the sky is this queen of value. So being very much in charge of your value is the aim. And then uh, with this death card, I think that, that will be the end of those demons. That's very interesting. So the last uh, part of that is will he admit it to the public? And so let's take one card out of that. And this is this Five of Wands. And the uh, Five of Wands is kind of endless, pointless arguing, okay? The environment that that's in uh, is truth and just as a great big offer of truth. The hopes and the fears for that. Six of Wands, uh, Six of Wands being a uh, victory. And then the final outcome being a Ten of Cups, and that's um, a happy family, really. Generational, emotional, uh, perfect. So I think he will. So the questions were, again, will he be able to overcome his demons? Yeah, he's got the, uh, the power of a high priestess to do it. Okay, the knowledge, the inner strength, the inner knowledge. He's a genius. Um, he's challenged by his love of himself. Um, the base of this is what his truths are his queenly 
amount of value for those truths. Uh, being so embattled with all of that, aiming for just the most value he can possibly get. And then the end of that uh, cycle says that, yeah, I think he will eventually come to a realization uh, about those demons. The um, last part of that is that will he admit it to the public? We've got this five of uh, wands, which is the endless arguing, the endless pointless um, things that he does and says um, that kind of trip him up on that goal. Uh, uh, in the environment of truth, just as Rome's law, I think that he really feels like this is what is guiding him, even though he's somewhat misguided. And when you're a genius and know you're a genius, I can see where you would think I'm right all the time. The six of uh, wands is victory. And then this uh, eight, nine, ten of cups is a uh, really emotional, familial victory. So I think he will admit it to us and he will overcome those demons at some point. So here's what I think. I think that um, we, we believe that people uh, who are in the public eye are special in some bizarre way when actually they're just like you and me, but they just happen to have this big platform that we're all able to see. Um, so hopefully the cards gave us some insight as to who that man is, uh, the genius that he is, the failed, frail uh, person that he is. Um, let me know what you think about it. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.